Hello friends, this video on circles part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's try to understand what is the distance of equal chords from the center. For example, if there are two equal chords here for a given center A, B and C, D, I want to know what is their distance from the center. Before I understand the distance from the center, let's understand the concept of distance. Am I talking about this distance? Am I talking about this distance? Am I talking about this distance? Let's understand the concept of a distance of a point from the line or a distance of a line from a point. Okay. So let's suppose this is a line and line is AB and there is a point called P. Now I want to know the distance of line AB from, from point P or distance of point P from line AB put the same. So I can draw various distance. Correct. There are so many distances. There are so many distances. This distance, let's suppose if I uh, put send A, B, C, P. Let me put C, D, E, F, G, H, I. And all these angles are variable. Only this angle is 90 degree. Right? So which distance should we consider when I say distance of point P from line? A, B. Right? If you see A, C, P, C will be different. P, D will be different. P, E will be different. So, there are so many distances, so what we consider is the shortest distance. And then you will observe, if you draw this in the piece of paper, you will observe that PF is the shortest here. Where this angle is 90 degree. Okay, and this is nothing but the length of perpendicular, the length of perpendicular from a point to the line. This is the shortest distance. Let me write here. Length of perpendicular from point P to line AB. And that is the shortest distance. This is shortest distance. Correct? So when you talk about distance of a point from the line, you talk about the shortest distance, and that is nothing but the length of perpendicular from point P to this line. Okay? If the point actually lies on this line, then the distance is zero. For example, from here, you draw a perpendicular, the distance will be zero. Okay. So, with this concept, let's do an activity. So, let's draw a circle and let's draw a few chords of unequal length. Let's draw a few chords of unequal length. You'll observe that the longer the chord, the shorter is the distance from the center. So, if you see, the brown one is the longest chord and the distance from the center is zero. Let us draw a perpendicular like this. Right? The shorter the chord, the longer is the distance from the center. Right? So I can say that distance from center is inversely proportional to length of chord. Correct? This is an activity. This is an activity. You can try on a piece of paper and draw a circle and draw various chords, and you'll see that shorter the chord, the longer is the distance. You can see that. Uh, and let me put some name here A, B, C, D, red cells. So we end with this B uh, point P and this Q. So you'll see that OP is greater than OQ, right? But AB is less than CD. P is a point on AB and Q is a point on CD. You see that if AB is smaller, the distance of point O from AB is more. If CD is bigger than AB, then distance of point O from this chord is less. They are inversely proportional. That is our activity observation. Let's do one more activity where we draw a circle and where we draw few chords. Let's draw two chords of equal length. These two chords are of equal length and then it's B, A, B and C, D. Now what you can do is you can actually measure the distance from this. So let's draw a perpendicular from the center. Right? And let this be P and Q. You'll observe that O, P is equal to O, P. Right? So you have to draw 
AB is equal to CD and then you will observe that OP is equal to OQ where OP and OQ are what? Perpendiculars Perpendiculars from O to AB and CD respectively because we are talking about the shortest distance so we have to take the perpendicular Okay, this is an activity. This is a theorem also. So let's prove this theorem. So let's prove this theorem that the equal chord of a circle are equidistant from the center. Pretty easy to prove actually. So we have two chords and let the chord be A, B and C, D. So we have to prove that these lengths are equal and lengths. These are 90 degree. Let this be point P. Let this be point Q. So we have given AB is equal to CD, right? And OP is perpendicular perpendicular to AB. Similarly, OQ is perpendicular to DC. That is given. So we have to prove that. OP is equal to OK. So what we can do is we can take these two triangles. Let's take these two triangles. Okay. OP B O Q C. So if we see these triangles, we have to prove that OP is equal to OK. You see that OP is equal to OC. Correct? Why? They are radius. These two angles are 90 degree. Correct? PB is equal to QC. Why? See, AB is equal to CD given. You divide both by 2, what you get? PB, QC. What I am telling is, see, we know that the perpendicular from center to the chord will bisect the chord. So the reason is perpendicular, it's a converse theorem from Enter to chord will bisect the chord. Right? So we got PB is equal to QC. Other thing also let me write OB is equal to OC. They are radius. And angle OPB is equal to angle OQC is equal to 90 degree. Thus these two triangles are congruent. Angle OQC by RH is rule right inside. If this is the case, if this is the case, these two triangles are congruent, I can say that therefore OP is equal to OQ by corresponding corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Correct? It is. And let's do an activity to check if the converse is also true. So let's draw a circle. Let's draw two equal lengths from center. Right? These two lengths are equal. And on these lengths, let's draw a perpendicular. I assume that these two lengths were equal actually. Yeah. On these two perpendicular equal length, let's draw a perpendicular line and these line is nothing but the chord. And now measure the length of the chord. You'll observe that these chords are of equal length. So let me write the name. So you'll observe that AB is equal to CD. So what you have done is from the center you draw two lines of equal length. For example, let this be P and Q, o, P and o, Q, and then what we have done is we have drawn perpendicular to OQ passing through Q. We have drawn perpendicular from OP passing to P, and we have made sure that these this line meets the circle at two point. This line meets the circle at two point, and these two points are AB. These two points are CD. You'll observe that AB is equal to CD. This is an activity you can try. Okay, so this is a theorem. Also.
because it is too inactive. So let's try to prove it. So let's uh, the data here A, B, and C, the two chords, and O in the center, and then P and Q be the two points, and then the material. So what is given? Given as OP is equal to OQ and OP B is equal to angle OQC is equal to 90 degree. Okay, so we'll again take the same triangle, triangle OPB and triangle OQC. Okay, OPB OQC. Right, OB is equal to OC, easily say, radius. Okay. OP is equal to OQ given. Angle OPB is equal to angle OQC. 90 degree. Therefore, these triangles are congruent. Yeah, that is. Since they are congruent, therefore, PB is equal to QC. Now PB is equal to QC, twice of PB will be equal to twice of QC. And what is twice of PB? That is AB. And twice of QC? That is CD. Why? Because point from center perpendicular to chord will bisect the chord. Right? You can write that. So line from center perpendicular to the chord will bisect the chord. So with that converse theorem, we can say that twice of PB is equal to AB and twice of QC will be equal will be equal to CD and thus we can say that AB is equal to CD that is these two chords are equal. Okay, So given that two chords are equidistant from the center implies that these two chords are equal in length. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.